Hello, this is this is about Bitcoin cryptocurrency presentation. My name is Madani Ariam. I'm the founder of the Set Business Academy. I have been working in the accounts field for a long time, particularly in the accounts sector, charity sector. Helped and advised many small businesses with startup procedures and in implementing suitable accounting systems. Set Business Academy provides business consultancy and tips writing ebooks, books, and creating online courses, and maintain few blogs. I also have a small accounting company where I get clients with their accounting and tax problems. I'm sure that you will understand why I created this online course and hosting this presentation, purely to help people who are interested in becoming a Bitcoin investor. I'm convinced that if you study and follow the lectures to my online co in my online course to help yourself, you will achieve your desire to become an investor. My company mission to identify and reach out the small businesses, owners and aspiring students in any part of the world and educate them to build and grow successful businesses by reading my ebooks, books and online courses as that help them develop their skills and abilities and enable them to become a successful entrepreneurs. Let me move on to the next slide. This is about Bitcoin. Intro for Bitcoin. Its advantages using it, it works and lots more about Bitcoin. Let me tell you some tips about Bitcoin to make you curious to learn about it. Bitcoin is a digital currency not controlled by central bank like other conventional currencies. Therefore, it is decentralized. No one owns it. And the ledger maintains it. Bitcoins are a worldwide production using cryptocurrency managed by independent computers and tied to the mathematical algorithm. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin created in 2009 by a software developer called Satoshi Nakamoto. It is a digital currency, decentralized and not controlled by banks, unless, unlike other standard currencies like US dollar, euros and British pound. In addition, no one owns it, controlled by ledgers. When a transaction made electronically, unlike other conventional currencies, monitored and approved by the banks. Bitcoins produced all around the world using free software. It is called cryptocurrency and has some similarity with traditional currencies, but based on the cryptography. Bitcoin proposed in 2008 as an electronic payment system, depending on lots of mathematical calculations. These maths, the maths involved is so complicated and it is not easy for everyone to understand. Can use Bitcoin to make payments electronically if both parties agree to it and the similar are similar in some ways to other conventional currencies but differ in some critical issues. As Bitcoin not controlled by particular individuals and controlled by a volunteer network group. As the computer only controls it worldwide, it attracts some individuals as they do not have to go through the conventional banking system. Let's see how it works. Now in this slide is about Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is a very competitive enterprise and the most popular currency out of all the digital money. Technology is highly advanced today and individual can profit from mining a service where matching all the transactions in the computer network. The benefit is the cost of drilling which increases over time and the price of cryptocurrency varies. Different methods followed for various digital currencies for mining but, all, but used cryptographic algorithms and hash functions for Bitcoin. When spending a considerable amount of money on hardware and software, the only thing they do is hash functions. functions. 
Bitcoin has gained popularity because the vast amount of ch chances is available in Bitcoin mining function due to technological advancement. Bitcoin is a distributed network but not a centralized network as this scattered network entirely decentralized but fully but not fully distributed. A distributed system means that the functionality overspread. A decentralized system indicates the best performance does not depend on the single server. The principle in Bitcoin is that network should be decentralized mining done by the distributed network and the and gives better security to the system. Mining process. Mining creates bitcoins. The process of extraction newly authenticated blocks added to the blockchain. The miners get freshly mined bitcoins and transactions free as remuneration for donating the computer power. High-powered high miners will solve a leak first and however there will be more mining problems we are decoding more blocks there are three ways for my bitcoin mining solo mining mining contracts mining pools threats to mining Now, in this slide, it's about how Bitcoin works. In life, always the involvement as the system goes by. And the currency industry not in excluded from that. You see, with the fantastic development in technology, the idea of having money in physical form seems like a constant tie to the 17th century. Now, Real money is still utilized heavily worldwide and probably continue to be. There has been an attempt to bring the use of currency into the modern era. It, it, is, known as, it is known as Bitcoin. And, the, and although people generally picture clustering coins on a screen in their mind, it is just a brilliant piece of software. Mostly, it is a virtual form of currency consisting of multitude of protocols which allows you to make transactions on them anonymously. Most people are entirely unaware of how it all works. This is the reason where we are going to explain to you. Bitcoin does not operate individually. It works in harmony with, the un, with its unknown blockchain technology, blockchain technology. Although blockchain is in, incredibly versatile in storing information and powers, different software, it focuses solely on Bitcoin transactions. The method operations appear in the block, blockchain is with numbers and letters and it can most consider as a versatile, as a never-ending list. Overall, Bitcoin works through superb, superbly constructed software that can then access stores transactions on blockchain technology through an encrypted virtual wallet. So rather than sending money, you will be sending multiple lines of code in place of it. Let me move on to the slide number five that is about what is Bitcoin currency, cryptocurrency in layman's terms. Some view it as an item that the tech savvy only can handle. What is Bitcoin cryptocurrency in layman's terms? Other than Marmite, very few things divide opinion across the globe as Bitcoin does. That is mainly because only a tiny percentage of the population truly understands what it is. Some view it as an item 
that the state survey can only utilize, while others believe used for wrong purposes. But Bitcoin is just a virtual currency that creates anonymity. It removes the need to use a bank to store money. It, it eliminates the need to attach your name to transactions and it removes some of the risk of becoming a victim of fraudulent activity. More and more people are bringing, beginning to realize that advanced advantages of digital currency and the increased population, popularity correlated with the soaring prices amongst the digital advantage exchanges. Bitcoin is an entirely decentralized payment network, meaning maintained through a peer-to-peer -peer network. Moreover, its currency Bitcoin is just a, num just a set of numbers and letters stored in blockchain technology. It means it does not represent a con conventional currency, although the fact that millions of people still purchase things with, with it shows that it could become a standard form of money in the future. Okay. If you use a if you use a, if you use a more similar familiar example, it is like PayPal, enabling you to send money and receive money, and then allowing you to withdraw your balance in the widespread currency such as the U.S. dollar. Recording Bitcoin is just a line in the blockchain ledger and set of digital keys stored in an offline or online wallet. You have to see there are now the next one should, should be the tips for new investors. Tips for new in, Bitcoin investors. Going into unpredictable business like on cryptocurrency can be daunting because there is no centralized authority and rumors spread quickly about digital currencies. It is a volatile market to get into doing business. However, if you are willing to take the risk, there is money to make. Below we discuss few essential tips that you must know if you are considering investing in Bitcoin. Do your research, due diligence and homework. As far as Bitcoin is concerned, some people have experienced a certain level of success while others have suffered a loss. If you are entering into a business, you must know just that you are getting into and invest only the amount you can afford. Otherwise, don't do that. Afford to lose. Have an effective diversification strategy. Other than, bit, other than Bitcoin, there are many cryptocurrencies that are doing well and growing fast too. Try to diversify into any of, the, any of these alternative cryptocurrencies because when Bitcoin drops, other, these other cryptocurrencies tend to perform better. When they are waiting for Bitcoin to increase in value, you can continue to be trade in these currencies alternative to cryptocurrencies. Do not keep your Bitcoin in the exchanges. Hackers and scammers these days have devised means to get into the crypto space and rip people off. You can save yourself from these menace by using transfers strictly or exchanging. Once you bought the currency, move the money into a Bitcoin wallet that only can that you only can control. It is even better if it is a hardware wallet. Let me move on to the next slide about national cryptocurrency. National cryptocurrencies. There are various currencies, but I will be discussing only a few here. 
I will discuss the different types of cryptocurrencies in other countries which you can see in this video. These these are national cryptocurrencies developed for specific purposes in their countries to fulfill their goals. First wave, Bitcoin has established in the name of the domain. With the advancement of technology, it was easy for people to create alternative currencies and coins for specific purposes for different geographical areas. The most specific purpose currency is national cryptocurrency developed as their digital currency to suit their content to achieve their goals. Aurora coin. Aurora coin is the most popular coin in an altcoin. They use this coin to control the wealth outlaws in, the, in Iceland. The purpose of creating was to rebuild the bridge between Iceland and the rest of the world. They are cryptocurrency technology for this purpose. After, the re after this release, it became world successful currency globally because of the lack of knowledge of the citizens. Then the price started to drop. So the citizens turned around to sold their sold these for bitcoins. They bought the bitcoins from these coins. As a result, the cost dropped drastically, then the miners began to leave. Spain coin. Spain coin is showing all the failed efforts in designing and national cryptocurrency pushed and dumped a system after the airdrop came into the force. Still, there was a little effort to keep the coin in circulation to the minor level. It, it gave half of it to the people free, who did not know anything about it and helped, helped encourage them to become, a, become aware of it and starting and started using it. That is a way to advertise their Bitcoin, advertise their, coin. advertise their coin. That is a way of increasing the aware of, awareness of this coin to the people. That's all. Let me move on to the, this is the last slide. Let me move on to the next slide. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my presentation. If you have any interest in becoming a Bitcoin investor and want to learn more about it, please visit my website. I will leave the link below in the YouTube area, YouTube video area, details section. Thank you very much again, once again, watching my presentation. You have taken the time. Maybe you are having the interest in becoming a Bitcoin investor. That's why you have taken the time to watch this. Thank you very much once again. Thanks. Bye.